There's something special called total internal reflection when light goes from a slower medium to a faster one. Here we have the two media. The line here is the interface between the two. Since light is slower in medium 1, N1 is bigger than N2. When light goes from medium 1 to medium 2, light speeds up and the angle gets bigger. Well, except for normal incidence. At normal incidence, the refracted part of the ray goes straight through and the reflected part of the ray reflects straight back. As the angle of incidence increases, the bigger angle of refraction also increases. Eventually, the angle of refraction will reach 90 degrees, at which point no part of the light ray will refract. There will only be reflection, and this is called a total internal reflection. This angle of incidence is called the critical angle. Beyond the critical angle, we would only have total internal reflection, no refraction at all, no light can go through to the other side. We can find the critical angle using Snell's law because we know that when the angle of incidence equals to the critical angle, the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. So N1 sine critical angle, the angle of incidence, equals to N2 sine 90 degrees. And since the sine 90 degrees is 1, that means the sine critical angle will equal to N2 over N1. That means the critical angle can be found using inverse sine N2 over N1. So this is the equation we use to find the critical angle. And uh, we only have critical angle when N2 is smaller than N1 because the sine value can never be bigger than 1. We have critical angle and total internal reflection only when light is originated from the slower medium, the medium with the larger index of refraction. To summarize, when the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, we have partial refraction and partial reflection. When the angle of incidence is equal to or bigger than the critical angle, we have total internal reflection. No part of the light gets through to the second medium. Please watch the demonstration videos by following the links under this lesson at my website 2physics.org. When you watch the demonstrations, you may also notice that when there is partial reflection and partial refraction, the amount of reflection increases and the amount of refraction decreases as the angle of incidence increases. It would make sense that we can have the most light going through to the other side when we shoot the light more or less straight through.